Our understanding of the world is based on what we see. But in the ocean, the rules have been changed. Diving into an illusion, how can we understand the world designed for others? Bathed in permanent blue light, the coral reef thrives in colour. Yet what we see is a mere shadow of reality. To understand a world not intended for our eyes, we should first ask, what do they really see? Beginning life as part of the zooplankton, most baby fish have a vision sensitive to ultraviolet, which helps them feed on phytoplankton. They move to the nursery grounds of mangroves and seagrass bed, and their vision adapts to the often greenish turbid water in the shadow of the trees. Later, they'll move back to the reef and choose a habitat between the sunlit, colourful shallow plateau and the blue environment of the depths or the wall or the dark environment of caves and overhangs. Yet wherever they live, the fish show an incredible ability to adapt their vision within their life cycle. The octopus is renowned for his ability to match his background colour, brightness, texture and pattern to such an extent that he virtually disappears in plain view. Despite this unusual skill, this Houdini of the reef is what we call colourblind. But although he perceives colours as we know them, in a range of grey, his vision extends in the ultraviolet range, and he also sees polarised light, which in fact enables him to see far more than we can. His ability to match colours he can't see is still not truly understood. But the octopus's remarkable eyes are probably responsible for his inquisitiveness and his will to bond with us. Some fish have a flattened body and spend their time flirting with the bottom, like the stingray or the flounder. Their eyes are located on top of their head to give them a dome-like field of view over their body. The stingray is born with a disc-shaped body on eyes on top of her head, but the flounder starts his life with a normal fish shape. One of his eyes then migrates to the other side of his head and he starts swimming on his side while his body flattens. Whether their eyes end up on the left or the right side of their head depends on species, but they all have an accurate vision that helps them match their background perfectly. Flatfish have eyes on top of their body, but while the ray uses her vision solely to spot her predators, the flounder uses his eyes for detecting his prey. A good vision is such an asset for survival on the coral reef that it can be used for trading. Perched at the opening of a burrow, this goby acts as lookout for a virtually blind shrimp. With eyes sitting high on his head, his field of view covers almost 360 degrees. In this unusual couple, the blind shrimp uses her claws as building tools and offers the protection of her home to the goby, who assures her safety. The shrimp's family prospers, building an elaborate network of burrows, and their survival is thanks entirely to the goby's watchful eyes. If danger comes too close, the burrow is the goby's last defence. Marine animals' eyes are positioned in diverse array and bizarre locations. They not only see a very different world to us, but a very different world to each other. With no neck to move, the fish's eye position needs to migrate to give them a large field of view. Eye movement ranges from fixed to extreme, 
with eyes moving in the same direction, opposite directions, and even independently to each other. Known for their ability to violently spear prey, what makes the mantis shrimps so special are their incredible eyes. Mounted on independent sockets on top of their head to give them free orientation, the mantis shrimp's eyes have the ultimate field of view. And when it comes to colour, she's the champion, with the ability to see in 12 different colour channels, four of those alone in the ultraviolet range. Also seeing polarised light, the mantis shrimp has a vision superior to any other living creature on Earth. With vision in only three colour channels, how can we even imagine the world that she can see? The coral reef's explosion of colour could be explained by looking through the fish's eyes. But already it's obvious that with such a diversity in eye design, colours form a language that so far only the fish can speak. The fish's eyes are key to understanding the marine life ecosystem. As man continues to rip the life out of our ocean, little time is left to start listening through the fish's eyes and see what they have to say. Mirror of the mind, key to the soul, the fish's eyes hold the secrets of an inner world where vision takes on new meaning. <laughs>